hey everyone so in this video we look at what happened in today's trade what is the data telling us and also we look at what are the kind of stocks that we can still buy in this uh, fall right so that is the main question many of the small retail investors have that do we sell everything in that we have in our portfolio in the small and mid cap space or are there stocks that we can still buy and still trade right so first we'll see what happened today so in today's trade we actually opened higher right went deep in the red almost a uh, percentage cut on the small, of the small and mid caps then we again went back in the green and finally ended somewhere near the break even right so if you look at all the three indices so nifty ended with a gain of 0.1% mid cap flat small cap 0.05% and the candle that it made is quite interesting right so if you i put this uh, horizontal line so you would see that uh, so this was the sh shoulder another head and another shoulder so we thought it will break down but actually it has given us a hammer uh, candle right so whenever there is a hammer candle that tells us that there is some buying activity that is kind of happening here and the bulls are kind of trying to push it higher right so since it came very close to that 30 wma the bulls again tried pushing the index higher but although if you look at the data the data is not that convincing right so the data of for 20th of march is actually below even yesterday's uh, accumulation right so really not that great data although the chart is kind of telling us that there is some uh, buying that is happening little bit of buying whatever is happening it is kind of pushing it higher so as long as it is above 30 uh, wma that is weekly moving average we can be sure that there is going to be some kind of action on the higher side and once it kind of breaks that is when the real pain would start but we don't know whether that will break now or it will break after a few days or few weeks right so as of now all the three indices so the nifty kind of gave you a doji symbol so exactly uh, closing around the place where it opened right even the mid cap index has made some kind of a hammer right so even the mid cap index did not close below this uh, neckline right so it kind of uh, went below that but kind of given a hammer again right so three indices looks like there might be some bounce that is coming in but that is not really supported by the data so usually in such times i don't go out there and buy unless the stock is kind of having very good accumulation and also i was talking about that okay which are the stocks that we need to buy so here what i do is i kind of have a filter wherein i search very good fundamentally decent companies and also the so that is the fundamental point of view so the technicals that i mix right is they should be above the 30 wma moving average line right so 30 wma or 150 daily moving average so right so if the stock is trading above that then you would know that the trend in them is still up right so those are the kind of stocks you would want to buy if you are a trader for short term right if you are an investor then that's a completely different story you want to buy something that is fundamentally cheap so that whenever the price appreciation happens you make money but in case if you are a short term trader then the main thing that you would want to do is look at the accumulation look at stocks that are above the 30 wma so in case they are above trading above the 30 wma line that means the trend is still up and in case if they are making a higher high higher low then nothing like it so those are the kind of stocks that you would want to play so one stock wherein you would see that okay the stock is still above the 30 wma and having like decent data and stuff would be I'm just showing an example, not really a recommendation for a buy or sell thing, right? So if you look at, uh, right? So this particular stock is currently trading above the 30 WMA, kind of making a higher high, higher low, uh, this thing, right? So these are the kind of stocks, even in a bear, or let's say when things are not looking that great, especially on the index level. So something that is above this particular line, right? those are the kind of stocks that you would want to look at right 
so you can even make a filter on charting or uh, other wherein they it will throw you all those names that are trading above the 30 wma or the 150 dma line right hope this helps probably help you also figure out which are the stocks where you need to concentrate and also kind of hold on to stocks that are still in an up move right you need not uh, sell all your uh, holdings right maybe it's something that is already broken down and in a bear trend those you can kind of um, get rid of but something that is showing strength you can still hold on to it as long as they're above the 30 wma and moving higher right hope this helps thank you